Hello everyone, my name is Scott. Welcome to our morning moment this morning. This week as we're looking at Ephesians chapter four, there are a couple verses in there that God has been continuing to work in me on. I wanna share those with you. Ephesians four, if you open your Bible, verse 20 is where I'll begin. In context, Paul is talking about the old way of life and how, how so often we can succumb to the temptations of our fleshy desires. And then in verse 20, he says, but that is not the way you learned Christ. But, he says, assuming that you have heard about Christ and were taught in him and the truth that is in Jesus, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt and through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds. And here's the key, verse 24. And to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. To put on your new self. So often we go through life and, and we might come to knowledge of who Christ is and, and accept him and make him Lord of our life. But every morning we wake up, we have a choice and a decision we have to make. Are we going to put on the old ways of hate, of bitterness, of destruction? Or are we going to put on the new self that Christ invites us into? Paul phrases it another way. He says to put on love, that when we clothe ourselves with compassion, with kindness, with, with God's goodness, with his love, it begins to transform us from the inside out. And in fact, if you actually look at, at the biology of your brain, when, when we think negative thoughts, it actually, it actually does literal brain damage on a physical level. And what the Bible seems to know about science here is that when we transform our mind by the renewing, this, this verse, be transformed by the renewing of our mind, when we begin to do that process, it takes the little negative biology that's happened and it, it transforms it into literally a healthy brain. Now that's fantastic and fine, and the reason I tell you that is you have the power, maybe not to control your circumstances, but you have the power to control the way you think. And it's, it's, it's not just a matter of wishing something into existence. It's a matter of taking every thought captive, of becoming aware of what's happening in life around you and saying, God, search my heart and know me. God, help me become who you've created me to be. And, and I would encourage you, start each morning this week with five minutes. Five minutes of pausing and praying and say, God, search my heart, know me. And the more you do this, the more you take time to reflect and to pause and invite God into the crevices of your heart, the more you will be able to to learn how to do this thing that he calls being transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's a process of putting on your new self. It's not just a Christianese saying that we say, it's nice, ah, you put on your new self. It is a way of approaching life, being mindful of who God wants to be in your life. The more we try to control our worlds with our own skills and our own abilities, the more we'll recognize how short we fall. And perhaps that's okay. Perhaps it's okay to be reminded that the God of the universe doesn't call us to control our worlds. He invites us to give him control, to worship him, to serve him. May this week be a week of rest and pause where you can pray that prayer, God, search my heart and know me. God, renew my mind. God, help me put on these new clothes. The simple process of being mindfully aware and inviting the Holy Spirit into that space will begin to transform you from the inside out. But there's one other tip I have for you. Don't just do it for a few days and stop. That's where so many people get it wrong. They'll do it one, two, three days and feel great by day four. They're like, eh, you gotta do this for weeks. It takes about two months to break a habit down and to reestablish a new habit and to reestablish a new way of thinking. And the reason I give you this information is I'm not trying to just help you today or tomorrow. If you become mindful, in your mornings of resetting 
how you process information, of giving that to God, you start practicing that on a daily basis. When you wake up three months from now, you will look back and think, oh my goodness, look what God has done. I invite you into that space of putting on your new self, the one that God has created you to be. Have a great morning.